So uh, we have here today on the third episode of More Than Memory, um, Jonas von Essen. And Jonas is from Sweden, even though his name might sound a bit German. It always sounds German to me. And he's a two times world memory champion. And he is uh, the man of Pi, I would say, nowadays. Why Pi, Jonas? Actually, that is uh, was the first question I wanted to know when I was thinking about that. Why did you do Pi? In an interview or somewhere else, you said, it was a bit more fun than you expected. Um, so what, what, what did you expect and uh, why was it more fun? Um, yeah, well, I, I think that I, uh, I, you know, I, I it always felt like something nice to do. I think when I just learned memory techniques, I started learning like the first 3000 digits or something like this. And I felt that it was so cool that you could just do this. And already that felt like something completely extreme. Um, but then, um, so some, somehow it was always in the back of my mind. Uh, but then of course, when I was competing, I mostly wanted to improve my speed and, uh, practice the disciplines. But then when I didn't compete anymore, but still were doing like a lot of memory lectures and like things, memory related things, I, uh, yeah, I, I felt it would be nice to have like a bigger project to work on. And then it felt great to, to try it out with the, with the Pi. And I started with only the first 15,000 digits for like to beat the Swedish record, mm. uh, I think 2016 or something like this. And um, it was uh, like, it, it was great because it uh, it didn't feel so difficult. Like I, it took some weeks maybe to memorize. And then uh, I, I did, I made one mistake when I read it out. So I, I got something just above 13,000, but it was still a Swedish record. And then that got a lot of attention in the media and it, it like it was um, <laughs> much more than when I became the world champion. Mm. So, uh, so it felt like a quite worthwhile thing to do also for like my memory career. Uh, and then when I was competing in the Sweden's Got Talent, of course, I was motivated to find like to make a big number in the finals. And then I felt that I could just compete uh, or continue up until 50,000. And uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, um, it seems like that you really got the hang of it after doing it more and more. And also the fact of getting attention for memory sports seems to be, uh, to, seems to have been um, a reason to do that. Um, so, I mean, you did, you tried the 100,000 digits last, was it last year or two years ago? Was last year? Um, it was two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. And um, I saw that video too. There was a big auditorium. I am not sure if there was somebody in there, but uh, except you, but there was also a live stream. And as I was uh, watching it for quite a while, uh, but not for the whole, I don't know, 23 hours. Um, <laughs> and it was just to explain that a bit. It was like this, it, where it looked like you're saying the digits out loud into a microphone and then there was voice to text. And you always say Jonas after 10 digits <laughs> or nine digits, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, obviously to, to get to the new row or anything like that. Yes. And, uh, and then what happened then? You were able to review these digits or how did it work? Uh, yeah, yeah. So because it's um, like I noted that when I, uh, as I told you before, when I did the Swedish record, I made one mistake, mm -hmm. uh, but I was quite surprised by the mistake went through it, like the images in my mind, uh, it was clear that I had thought about the correct image, but I just somehow translated it wrong after saying so many uh, digits. Uh, so, um, and then when I was trying, like practicing for the world record, it was also clear that I sometimes just made these mistakes and uh, it seemed very difficult to get rid of them, like uh, just randomly, like uh, probably it was a really small possibility each time I said I did it, that I would just say another did it and with so many did it, uh, yeah, it added up. So, um, so yeah, somehow this, this solution became that I, I could, uh, as you said, say them uh, and the computer heard them and the computer didn't always hear them correctly. So for that reason, I also had to double check it. Uh, but then I got a chance to double check it. So I think I read 5,000 digits and then I uh, went through all of them, like reading them to see that I, everything was correct. And then I submitted them and I then see. did the same with the next 5,000. So. Okay. So, uh, this is interesting because you, you said like um, these mistakes somehow happen ram randomly. Um, but if you, t if you do it like you did it, 
um, is it not the same? I mean, what what kind of mistake is it? Is it a mistake that you have the images clearly and they are all right, but something is wrong during memorization, or uh, how did that mistake happen? I I think um, you also made a mistake on twenty thousand twenty four thousand zero sixty four. Uh, so yeah. how how did that happen? Uh, yeah, that was like yeah, a real mistake. So so the other mistakes, it, it's just that I like I see the correct uh, images and I. Uh, I re like they are correctly memorized and they, like it's it's the right thing but somehow I like at one point I will just translate something that should be 141 into 148 or just I don't know for some reason randomly like do the translation wrong um, so that, yeah that was these kinds of mistakes that I just wanted to avoid because I felt that they were like not real mistakes but more like errors of like some subconscious errors but then uh, this uh, the mistake i actually did during the record was uh, that i i became unsure of the order of two uh, images yeah yeah and it, it was it felt stupid because i i never switched them up uh, during all my practice time uh, so somehow i just thought thought that i really knew them but somehow i i must have been a bit tired and then I was I just became confused and both variations felt right somehow mm -hmm. and like I could motivate them both and uh, yeah in the end I just decided for one and it was the incorrect one. Uh, I, I really bad luck so I mean I, I, I don't think that that was your last try attempt on Pi. I'm pretty sure you will go for another one. Um, <laughs> any, any plans for that already maybe next year? Um, n not at the moment. Uh, I like now at the moment. I have a lot of other okay. things that yeah. I have to work on. So because when I did this uh, attempt, I took like a whole month off and only f like from morning to evening repeated the yeah. digits yeah. because it's like so much that you really have to do it like this. I think, uh, and even with when you know them really well, like if you just wait for a few days. It's just you start having these gaps and you have to repeat it again and yeah. yeah. So any any idea of um, avoiding such a mistake like um, swap, swapping the order? I think probably it's just a matter of practicing even more. Um, I f actually like during this month I felt in the beginning it felt that it would be maybe impossible to to do it because they always made small mistakes and it was like. Um, yes, sometimes may switch things up, but it uh, became less and less so. Mm. And like really, the last week, I felt that I really started to get ready and that I had a chance. Uh, but I think that if I maybe would have had like a few more weeks of just practicing when I was at that high stage, uh, yeah, maybe that would have been enough to yeah to make it even more probable to succeed. But I think it's. Uh, impossible to really make it a uh, hundred percent sure, of mm. course, but uh, you could probably make it so that you have a good chance of, of succeeding. But yeah, I think I had probably had like maybe a fifty-fifty chance uh, mm. at that point. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I was also thinking about that, and since we are here, uh, a deep memory talk. It's I was thinking about um, making the second image uh, more like a like an uh, action. So, um, like, if you would have a guitar as a second image, I would go away from having a guitar, but the first image is playing something like guitar, like like this movement with the third image. Uh, ah, yes. uh, so that was something I was thinking of, because then it's like PAO, a bit like PAO. Um, it's yeah. not so easy to mix them up anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I think that's a great idea. And of course, yeah, that would be uh, a good, like if I did it from the beginning, I would do it in some way like this, some more structured way mm. like this because of course that could really uh, make you avoid these mistakes yeah uh, but now when i already memorized it of all course. i yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't go again but um, maybe i give that a shot at some day it will take a while yeah but... yeah you should really do it and um so yeah this pie challenge uh, actually what one more question some uh, question about that i ah, yeah, had this this book you have this big bible of pie bible um <laughs> What I was wondering is, um, you have, of course, you have in the in the in the challenge you have for this one challenge you have nine digits, and you have to name the nine before and after, right? Yeah. And but of course the nine digits are not a 100% random sequence, so it's not like digit seven to sixteen, but it's mm -hmm. rather always one to nine, ten to eighteen, right? 
Yeah. 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 And um, could you do that without this uh, 1 to 9, 10 to 18? What do you think? Um, I think probably not uh because it would be like, like i think in in that case i would need a longer sequence sure yeah uh, because if I, oh yeah of course if i just get a sequence that is in between two it's uh yeah, I, th i think it's impossible i think it, it's really like it's when you have when you get the three images that you actually have together in a mm -hmm. and you know that okay it's these three although that is uh, i think really difficult of course so uh Yeah, pr probably it wouldn't work. Mm. Uh, I think otherwise. yeah, you're right. You might have to have a like twenty digits uh, sequence. Or uh, yeah, yeah. To, In that to... case, of course, then you could try. It would take longer time, but you could ah, probably yeah. find your sequence and yeah. And in this book, you have eleven rows per page. Um, so, have you ever been asked for the uh, row ten and then the next nine digits? Uh, uh, yeah. Row eleven. I mean row eleven. Are there because. Um, as I saw that you have 10 rows with nine digits each and the 11th row has 10 digits. So yeah. um, uh, how do you handle that? Um, yeah, it, like like yeah, the way we did it was that you can uh, like yeah, you can ask for any group. So it's either groups of nine or that it could also be this group of 10 and then they will read all the 10 okay. numbers. Yeah. 